If we're with buyers and we're showing houses and we say the dumbest thing in the whole wide world, that buyer might go somewhere else. We're always thinking about what we're saying, trying to do the right thing, try to say the right thing, give a good answer. And you gotta think about it all the time because of all the stuff we're learning. You know what analog is? Not digital. <laughs> you know what's cool about analog? It can't be hacked. <laughs> How are you gonna hack a postcard? <laughs> For sale sign, business cards, mailers, flyers, ads, and apparel. Okay, over on the digital side, now we're talking about websites, emails, blogs, blog posts, blog comments, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, we're gonna talk about those, and text messages. Text messages. Huh. So wait. If they threw this over here, do all those slides we just talked about before apply to that? There's some special rules around text messaging. Special rules around it. Um, you need to make sure at least one message in the communication thread said your name and your company and you're licensed in Virginia. You with me? And that's probably a slide here in a minute, but I wanted to say it while we're on it. One message in the thread one message. So we're having a text conversation and, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm really good at the real estate thing. So I'm, I'm talking to you about, you know, what you've been doing lately and where'd you go? And did you have fun and blah, blah, blah. Oh, and don't, don't forget, if you ever need any real estate help, I'm your guy, Mark Joyner, da, 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 da. Okay. You with me? Because okay. we're never not realtors. So somewhere in that thread. Now I've seen some people that they went ahead, because you know in your text messages, you can put a signature in your text message as well. And you can put that down at the bottom of your text message. And I've seen some people do that, and every like one word they send back to you has all their company stuff, and all their company stuff, and all their company. Okay, that's fine. It might get a little annoying to the other person in a, in a text, you know, you're bouncing back and forth in text. But make sure one does. Make sense? Who in here is on Facebook? In some capacity, somewhat. Okay. A post on your private page is not a private post. Because if you're on Facebook and if you're throwing out posts out there, and if they have the little globe with them, the whole world can see it. They look your name up and your Facebook page comes up and they click on it and they jump right into your Facebook page and there your whole life is. Right? Firm and agent websites must have the required information clearly and viewable on all pages. This is why most firms right, um, will have the information usually like in a footer or a header that never changes and then all the information in the middle changes because it needs to be on every page. So know that if you as an agent have your own website, which is great, those web vendors, if you got just a web vendor, GoDaddy or, or oneandone.com or maybe you're using Google Pages. They don't know all of our rules and regs. We're supposed to know our rules and regs, right? So just make sure that if you have your own website, that this information carries over on every page.